Mr. Kitzwater speaking. Yes, Lewis, hurry it up. Can't you see I'm getting ready to go to my bouncy room? What? Mrs. Jules is home today. Mrs. Jules is home today? <laughs> Article 26, paragraph D, principal must report to absent teachers. <laughs> Classroom? Oh, no! Not like last time! Ah! What do you want? Is it safe? Principal Kidswater? Ooh. Yes. Uh, good morning. Uh, 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 whatchamacallits? You mean students. Yes, whatever. Present and accounted for, Mr. Kidswater. Thanks, Marsha. It's Myron. Who? Ah. Mr. K visits a classroom. This is one for the book of rare events. I'll put it right between my photo of Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Dana's right, Mr. Kidswater. You never set foot in classrooms. What gives? Oh, uh, Mrs. Jules is sick at home today, and the rules say I must handle a class when no other substitutes or cows are available. Hooray! Principal Kidswater is our teacher for the day! Yay! Can I call you teacher, teacher? Oh, no, no, no. The manual doesn't say anything about... Yay. Uh, Teaching. My job is simply to handle you. So, consider yourselves handled. That is all. <laughs> See? This is exactly why I don't go into classrooms. What subject shall we start with today, teacher? <laughs> Looks like we're starting with this ed. Choo choo, go away. This gym class is quite a workout. Or maybe it's geography class. We are covering a lot of ground here. Uh... Did you hear that, Mr. Pumpkin? He's teaching us a foreign language. Ah! 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 <laughs> <sighs> ah! Hi, Hi, Mr. Kidswater! Ah, no! <laughs> Teacher, am I doing this right? Yeah, I want to make sure my form is perfect. No, no, no! Roll your eyes around a little and thrash your arms around a bit more. Better. <laughs> so this is what being a principal is like? What else do you do all day? Hmm, well, there's this. And this. And this. And this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and sometimes this. Blah, blah, blah. But mostly it's pretty much this. Any questions? Blah, as in blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. Blah. B. L. La. Blah. Is that word in the dictionary? The dictionary? Oh, you kids today and your make em up hippity hoppity words. Yee yeah, boy. I'm a caveman. I'm the caveman. I'm, I'm a dancing fool. I'm a caveman. K-Man! Get over! Yeah! K-Man out! K-Man! Wow! What kind of ball is this? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> that's my medicine ball from my heavyweight title days. My trainer used to toss it in my gut to toughen up my rock-hard abs. Come on! Throw it at me! <laughs> Hmm, that's weird. Heavier than I remember. Whoa! Check out these action shots! Are you a cowboy too? 
something like that. <laughs> yip, yip, yippee! And these are my ice dancing trophies. Ooh. Careful, I keep them sharp just in case anyone tries to steal my title. <laughs> my self-portrait! How come you look so sad in all of these, teacher? Sadness is my inspiration, and tears are my paint. <laughs> I call this one me and my goose egg. Ooh, pretty. Halt! That bonsai tree is very fragile. I worked for many years to train it to look like that. Wow, you train trees? Huh? Of course not. I prune the tree naturally, like the wind. <gasps> Bonsai! It helps to have an anchovy burrito for breakfast. Wow! Show us more, teacher! Here's my mechanical bowl and rodeo room. Wind tunnel room where I work on my skydiving moves. Planetarium and space travel simulator. Oh, <laughs> you've got to see what I've done to the skating rink. Here I combine two of my loves, ice dancing and fantasy role playing. Observe as I attempt a triple sow cow whilst reenacting a dragon joust. Thank you, Merlin. It's my ring. I challenge thee to a joust, oh cowardly dragon. Yowie! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Teacher! 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 Uh oh. I knew I shouldn't have worn the extra heavy gauntlets. Mr. K, do you need help? Oh no, children. I'm a professional. I don't need any help. I have everything under control. Yes, gotta shimmy over to that. Uh-oh. Ah! What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? So that's how thermodynamic principles are applied to indoor ice skating facilities. Tell me about it. I'll save you, Sir Kits, a lot. <laughs> Legs, so cold. Say, did I ever tell you about the time I invented leg warmers? Yes! Woo! Yay! Leg warmers? Wow! Mr. K, I've got to admit, you're way more interesting than our regular teachers. Yeah, I've learned how to spell all kinds of new words, like blah, 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 and We've learned about art and sports and fashion. And I've started training my pumpkin, Bondi! Wait a sec. I taught you that? Oh, you taught us way more than that. You taught us we can be anything we want to be. Boxing champ, paddle ball guy. Inspiration, I call it Kitspiration. Well, I guess I am quite the vessel of knowledge, aren't I? This teacher McCullough stuff ain't so bad. Come on, I'll show you more. Yay! There you are. I was wondering why you weren't up in the classroom. Hey, Mrs. Jules, Principal Kitswater taught us today. Oh, he did, did he? Yes, and it was fun! You get paid for doing this? Wait a second, aren't you supposed to be sick at home? Oh no, it was my day off, and I was sick of being at home, so I came in today. Didn't you get the message? I left it in your bouncy room. You have a bouncy room too? Well, only for staff meetings, but I guess you kids can see it. Yay! <gasps> oh, well, maybe another time, children your regular teacher's bag, so 
I guess this is goodbye. I'll miss you all. Thanks for everything, Principal Kitswater. No, today it's Teacher Kitswater. Yay! I'm going to miss those kids. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is great kidspiration. Let it eat. <laughs> hmm, I call this one me and the whatchamacallits. <laughs> Class? Can anyone tell me what the square root of a cat is? Eric? Oh, is the cat orange or white? Oh, interesting. Say orange. Eric? An eighth of a fur ball. Well done, Eric. You get a gold star. She never picks me. It's like I don't exist. Ah, yes. I, too, have felt the fateful flick of this fickle finger called fame. Uh -huh. Flick, flick, flick. Uh, I don't know about that. I just want to be noticed. Don't we all, Eric? Who, me? No, Eric. Me? No, the other one. Look, you need to change your name, Eric, who is not those other Erics. Change it to what? How about something classy and powerful and important? Yes! I'll call myself Hercules! No, I was thinking more of... Myron! Myron? Sure, you need to move out of the Eric shadow and into... The Myron Shadow! <laughs> Okay, you can call me Myron then. What? You can't do that. Chapter 4, subsection 6, article H of the Wayside Rulebook states, <clears throat> All Wayside classrooms must have at least three students named Eric at all times. No more, no less. Oh my, is this true, Eric? It's Myron. See, she noticed you already. Teacher's pet. Where will we get a third Eric? <gasps> Me! I'll be an Eric! Anything to be in the same row as... Oh, Todd. My name's uh. Eric now. Eric who loves Todd. Okay, the first thing you need to know about being a Myron is that it's all about Power and respect. Being a Myron is like being a king. <clears throat> oh, thank you for checking the water for me, noble water tester. Everyone looks up to a Myron. Even animals. Never forget how important you and your name are to these people. Hey, Milty, I accidentally flushed a penny down this toilet. Can you find it for me? Thanks, Marianne. Uh -huh. And little Marianne. See? Like I said, power and respect. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> um, are you sure about this? What? But Fluffy loves you. Eric's can't have pets, Todd. It's in the rules. So just watch Fluffy until I get the other Erics to move my seat back here. Then we can all be together like one happy family. <laughs> nice, Fluffy. Thanks, little Myron. Now, do you have any questions? Yes. When do we ride our bicycle built for three? Huh? And practice our concerto. What's that? And trade eyeglasses? I can't do that. See this? This is my look. I changed this, no one recognizes me. 
See? I'm completely anonymous. Hey, Myron. Mr. Kidswater? You called me Myron. Whatever. Did you get my lucky penny out of the toilet? Thanks a lot, Munchie. Must get closer to Todd. Hey, are you looking at my notes? Me? Uh, no. <laughs> it's okay if you were, because we Eric's always help each other out with our homework. Yeah. Let me see your homework, Eric who loves Todd. Wait. This isn't homework. It's hearts and flowers and the name Todd written a zillion times. Oh, that? Uh, that's just my lunch. Are you okay, Eric? Yes. I'm fine, Eric. Now trade seats with me, Eric. Okay, Eric. No, I meant him. Eric! Oh, why didn't you say so, Eric? Uh, Eric and Eric, I want to sit back there in front of Todd. Can I just do that, huh? Whoa, don't have to get all snippy about it, Eric. Right, Eric? Yeah, Eric. Eric and I will let you sit there. <laughs> right after we ride our bicycle built for three. Yay! Bicycle built for who? <laughs> Can't we just roller skate instead? Eric's don't roller skate. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Can't I just hang out with the other Eric's a little bit? Look, little Myron, you're not a part of that trio anymore. You're in a duo. That means you duo everything I ask. Like what? Well, for starters, tell me I'm great. You're great? <laughs> oh, you're a fast learner, little Myron. <laughs> Woo! This shameless praise is making me thirsty. <laughs> Why don't you get Big Myron a big drink? See? Isn't this fun? <sighs> don't forget the ice! <sighs> Shall we practice our concerto? What am I supposed to do with this? You play it, but first, three, two, one. Juice, that's an Eric drink. I need a Myron drink. A powerful elixir. A blend of three majestic ingredients. Root beer, lemonade, and cream soda. Now off you go. What have I done? So then I says, do you think Todd likes me, likes me, or likes me, likes me? I think he likes me. What do you think? You Eric's give like the best advice ever. But we haven't even said anything. Exactly. Now, can we trade seats like you promised, Eric? <laughs> oh, Todd. Finally, we can sit next to each other. Great. Mauricia, or er, Eric, whoever, take Fluffy. I haven't moved in hours. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not so fast, Eric, who loves Todd. What do you want, little Myron? Just one thing. To be an Eric again. <laughs> what? But our duo. Think of the good times. I'm tired of duoing stuff for you. I'd rather be a small Eric than a little Myron. <gasps> <laughs> Hold on. We need three Erics at all times. No more, no less. That means we can't have four Erics. Tough luck, little Myron, who used to be Eric. No Eric who loves Todd. I'll prove that I'm the real Eric. 
I challenge you to an Eric off. It is so on. Who am I kidding? It looks like small Eric is the real Eric. Yay! Yay! Hey, wait for me! I want to be an Eric too! <sighs> now everything can go back to normal. Hand over the glasses, Mauricia. Yeah, maybe I'm not cut out for this Eric stuff anyway. And take your fluffy. Sorry, Todd. All I wanted was to sit next to you. You know, you could have just asked. Really? Then, can I sit next to you? Well, there's no seat here. But I'll sit with you at lunch if you want. Whoa! Awesome! How about in the playground, too? And on the bus? And even when we're not at school? Well, uh, yeah. What about in high school and college? Can I sit next to you at your first job? And when you're not eight years old, can I sit beside you then, even if you're old and stinky? <laughs>